everyone. Um, I'm here in West Virginia and I am visiting a couple of people you'll see in the video, Terry and Al. And um, so we're at Prickett's Fort right now. So um, let's go on this adventure. This was built like in the 60s or 70s. Yeah. Re, re. Redone, yeah. Reconstructed. Based on the plans of the, the general style of fort that was made at the time. They don't know exactly what this fort looked like. Huh. Wow. That's cool. I guess this was built in the, redone in the 70s. Let's see if we can see him right here. Wow. <clears throat> try to. See how pretty it is here. I'm way behind everybody. Here's a other view. Oh wow. Where uh, they said you can see the spirit of a guy after dark on that trussle, off of that trussle. hanging from it or just you jumping know. off of it. I think oh my gosh, it. yeah, there was someone hitting cold bear back in the 70s. Wow, the train went down to I don't know how people would know this though because they closed after dark. Have you been watching those duck poop everywhere? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> That's uh, the Monongahela River. Yeah, you can walk oh, through okay. it. It goes Absolutely. all the way to, through Morgantown Dude, yeah. to Pittsburgh to meet the Allegheny in between huh. the Ohio. We're upstream. I had no idea that it went from south to north. Yeah, it's the only other river other than the Nile that goes north. Wow. Cool. And there's a trail you can get on there and it takes you over to the cemetery down alongside the creek. Oh, okay. Over here in the trailer? <laughs> yeah, we're out of Teddy's. Got to go down there. Here we had a deer. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. He kicked over all the 
fake things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we saw at least 12 of them along the side of the road. A little herb garden. Try not to move too fast. Ooh. Spider web. Down. Yeah, they're like down. They're quite a teepee. Uh -uh, like a dome town. It wasn't a yard either. I don't think it's that. Huh. Yeah, it's that nice. It's like the, the grandson of Cricket that owned this property built this farmhouse afterwards and had a farm out here. Oh, wow. And that's like part of the wall, I guess. This was settled before it came in about 1770, I believe, 1767, 1770, somewhere in there. And then this was built in the 1800. Wow. Nobody's living in it, right? No. Okay. <laughs> and what they did, actually, to build the fort, they bought up all these. Um, what do you guys say? And tore them apart and reconstructed them to make the building. So wow. In the forest. Oh, that one's got curtains. Is that an outhouse? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sort of. It's a tool shed. Huh. I don't know if it once was or not. Wow. Oh. How cool is that? Look at the, they look like um, grinders. I could be wrong. If you know what they are, then um, let me know. I'm thinking flower or something like that. But, or grapes, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? If you know, let me know. And there's the the um let's call it a tool shed. I'm trying to hold still, but I don't know if I am. That's Terry, Albert, and Ken. Wow, there's an amphitheater. There's a cemetery here too, somewhere. 
We drove by it on the way in. I don't know what that is. Wow. Amazing. Is that Mullen? Oh, look at the puppy. So that's about it. Let's see. So that's about it for here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. Um, they're not open, so we couldn't go in. Um, so I will see you guys in the next adventure.